Hi, come on in. So glad to have you today. How do you like my hat, my multicolored hat? I wore this hat because I want to get your attention today. We have a very important lesson. Our lesson is God judges Nineveh. And you've heard about Nineveh. Now, uh, our lesson today is taken from the book of Nahum. Nahum was a prophet. We call him a minor prophet. Not because he wasn't as important as the other prophets, but because his book was a shorter book than some of the other books in the Bible. The point that we want you to get today is that God judges evil because he is just. And our life application, what we want to go home with is that I will repent and follow God. In the book of Nahum, we learn about the terrible sins, you know, being done by the people of Nineveh. At the time when the prophet Nahum uh, wrote his book, they had not they had not yet been punished. Now, Nineveh, as we recall, it was the capital city of Assyria. And the people of Nineveh, they enjoyed beautiful gardens. It was a beautiful place. Uh, they had a, a strong army. They were protected by the strong army. And you remember, if we go back to Jonah, uh, uh, we, uh, we remember how that uh, they had sinned. So, though, you know, they had did so much sin that God said he was going to destroy them in three days. Now, and let me tell you a little, another little uh, nugget about uh, Nineveh. You know, it was such a large city that it would take three days to uh, to walk from one end of, of the city to the other. A whole three days. That's how large it was. But the thing was, beneath all this beauty, and it was very beautiful, beautiful gardens, uh, beautiful waterfalls, just a beautiful place. But it was rotten to the core. The Assyrians, you know, they were the enemies of God's people. And uh, and the people of Nineveh, they just performed horrible, cruel acts. And they would terrorize and, and uh, bully uh, other people, and especially the children of Israel. Now, you remember Jonah. Uh, Jonah, when God told him to go there and talk to him, he hesitated. He really didn't want to go because these people were so evil. He didn't know what they might do to him. But we know that he he did, uh, eventually he went to Nineveh and uh, he preached to them uh, that if they did not repent, God was going to destroy the city. And so the people, even the king, the animals, it says everybody fasted and, uh, and they prayed and they repented from their evil ways. And God did not destroy Nineveh. But that, about 150 years later, about 150, the people of Nineveh, they forgot about what they had said to God. And they returned to their wicked actions. And actually, you know what? It would not have been those same people, because we're talking about 150 years later. It was probably their children and, and, or, and grandchildren who were now uh, in Nineveh. And they probably didn't even know about uh, uh, how that their grandfathers and great-grandmothers, grandfathers had repented and how God was going to destroy Nineveh. So, I mean, they had just, these children had just, they were just in Nineveh, they were just, and they're not children, they're adults. They were sinning. Now, um, they just went right back to where they had started. Now, God could not allow this evil to continue. That's right. The Lord wanted his people to be safe from these wicked uh, people because they really, they were the enemies of the children of Israel, but they had become that. And God had to do something. He had to step in. And the people of Nineveh, uh, they uh, were, some of the things that they were doing, and I got, I, I, you see my cup here? This is like a cup. Uh, and, and, and they just, just were, and I'm going to pull it, actually, I'm going to pull it, put this on top of a ruler. And the reason I'm doing this, because I'm trying to show you how that, at first, everything was fine, but then as they began to sin, like lying, and, uh, you know, now remember, this is on a ruler, this is, my cup is on a ruler, and still, ooh, it didn't take long, the cup became full of sin and God had to come in and destroy. No, 
he wasn't having that murdering and uh, idol worshiping, torturing and rebellion and slavery and, and, and all kind of abuse and drunkenness. So the people of Nineveh, they began to fight against God and, uh, and they just kept sinning. So finally, when the cup was full, it teetered over. It teetered over. God is slow to anger. Now he 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 don't always come and 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 destroy you right away. God's justice did not happen right away to Nineveh. You know, he wanted really what he wanted to do. He wanted to restore them, and we know that because uh, of what had happened with Jonah when Jonah went to preach to them. But they kept sinning afterwards, and I'm and it, and it probably like I said, it probably was their grandchildren and. Uh, great grandchildren that uh, had had they forgot about what their fathers had promised to God, and they were sinning. It. So finally, the Lord He just is not going to ignore this sin, and He told Nineveh, He told Nahum, "I want you to describe to them the details of the destruction that is going to happen to them." And sure enough, it did happen, and so. The book of Nahum, it just shows us the balance of God's mercy. God is good, but he's not going to always let you keep sinning, sinning, sinning. Let me turn this around so you can see it. And sinning on the balance, because what's going to happen when that cup gets full? All right. God, it, it, it does not, it won't balance. And so God is a just God. He doesn't ignore sin forever. And, and that's what we really want to hit home today with, is that it's if you sin, repent. And repent, and we talk about it all the time. Repentance is two things. You confess your faults, and then you turn away from them. You say it and you mean it in your heart. I'm not going to do it again. And that's really true repentance. And one day, God is going to judge everyone. So I want you to think about this week. Is there anything you might want to change? How did your decisions, how did you, you uh, what kind of decisions did you make this week? Uh, how did you feel about them? Were they good decisions? Let's pray. Jesus, we love you. We thank you for dying for us so we can be free from sin. Even when we fall and, and, and fall short, you're with us, Father. Help us, Jesus. Help us to see your need, uh, see the need to, to, uh, to confess our faults, Lord God. Help us to obey and follow your plan for our lives. Even when situations try to pull us away from you, Father, help us to make the right choices to follow you, Father. Help us, Father. We repent of our sins, Father. We promise to leave those sins behind us. We give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you know, it feels so much better when you repent. It's like, thousand pounds have been lifted off for you and I hope you got something out of the lesson today God bless you and remember I love you but Jesus loves you more God bless you